Uh, Luke, 2-0 win over Harrogate and through to the first round. Proper good day's work, I guess. Yeah, very good. Um, obviously, we would have liked to have got it done on Saturday, but as it happened, it, it, it wasn't meant to be. and It was a, it was a, obviously a tough fought 0-0, obviously, at their place. And obviously, bringing them back to here on a, on a Tuesday night at our, at our home ground, we always knew that we would have a, a good chance of progressing through, obviously, on our pitch and the way we like to play. So, yeah, I'd like, I like to think we, we brought that to the table today and to get two goals and a clean sheet and, and to progress into the first round is, is really good. Well, we played them twice this season away from home, uh, got two draws there. But when you bring them to the race course, do you always feel that you've got that home advantage and that you can make that count? Yeah, 100%. I think home advantage in in any game is massive and it shows when we go to their place and we have two hard fought nil nil games and we bring them here and yeah obviously they had chances which any team they, they have spells in games where they, they're going to obviously cause you problems but for the majority of the game I think we controlled it well and and yeah it, it was nice obviously to, to get the um, first goal to go one nil up and then to kind of not seal the game at 2-0 but kind of give ourselves a little bit of breathing space going into the last last half an hour was good so no, overall, very pleased. Yeah, get, when you get that uh, first goal, obviously having played for two and a half games, um, we'd need the side breaking the deadlock. Is there that feel of relief and that you finally managed to get that breakthrough when you guys did get that first goal because it came from your corner? Yeah, of course. I think it's always it's always going to be tough to to think that you're going to go into a game after having two nil nils against them that it's going to be a free scoring game. But in recent performances for for us personally, we've we've done enough to create chances to kind of to score goals and as it happens sometimes we, we take them sometimes you don't depending on how the other team are playing and how the keepers playing but no it was it was always we was always confident coming coming here tonight and bringing them to our home patch and I think that showed with the overall point. Let's talk about uh, the second call your goal um, really good work from Mike in the uh, the build up to it to lay it off to you after some hard work and for you to drill it in uh, from outside the box. Um, where have we seen that before? Yeah, well, yeah, no. Um, obviously, I wouldn't say it was as spectacular as the one at, at Dagenham, but any 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 goals you, you, you'll take. But no, Mike did brilliant. Um, did very well to hold the ball up and unselfishly laid it off to me on the edge of the box, and I just kind of had to get a good contact on it because the pace was on the ball to to stroke it into the bottom corner. So. No, overall it's nice to get a goal, but the the main outcome of tonight was just to get through to the to the next round and, and being obviously the first round proper. Looking forward to obviously a uh, a good cut run hopefully. Yeah, after both those goals, everyone celebrating together, um, congratulating each other, congratulating you, Mike, Akil, of course. Uh, just how much does that sum up uh, the dressing room right now? Yeah, I think that there's a real good togetherness um, with the lads that are playing, not playing on the bench in the stands everybody's willing each other on to do well and we've got a very good squad here and I think if whoever the gaffer decides to obviously put out in the first 11 and on the subs bench you're going to get that backing from the other other players as well and you know full well that they're going to they're going to step up to the plate because at the end of the day everybody wants to play well and especially when when the team's winning and, and obviously things are going very well you want to be part of it and like you say it's it, it's a squad game we've got a real good squad here a real tight-knit group and it just shows that everybody wants to wants to win and wants to do well and having that winning mentality even though obviously it's, it's a cup game and there's no points at stake it's it still showed that we wanted to win the game and wanted to do something this year. Yeah, Wrexham have got some real prestige in this competition over the years but it's the first time in four years that we've managed to progress past the fourth qualifying round um, so uh, yeah, how important is it for you that not only in the league but we we do well in these sort of cup games because obviously financially it's great for people. Mm -hmm. It keeps those winning runs going and it's something for the supporters as well. Yeah, definitely. Like I say, a cup, the cup is special. The FA Cup is a very special cup and if you can get a, a nice little cup run in it, it just it gives you a little bit of a break from the league. Although your main goal of the season is obviously your league form and, and gaining promotion, but to have a nice little cup run added to the side of it is, just gives you a little bit of less pressure going into them games thinking that there's no points at stake and you can kind of not go out there gung-ho to try and win the game in the first kind of 20 minutes, but just have a real good go of trying to get through. Because it, the further you get on in the rounds, it, it has a real cup cup feel about the game. And now it's it, it, it's a great competition. And but like you say, obviously the the game done now. We're into the first round, and our and our foot sole focus now is on on Chesterfield in the league on Saturday. So we've got three big games coming up in the league, and our focus is only on them going obviously going forward. Yeah, we'll go on to um, Chesterfield in a moment, but with Western, the next side for playing the first round proper, I think you're probably one of the only 
lads who may have come up against Western or, or played in those parts, obviously yeah. been talking mm -hmm. Plymouth way. So interesting maybe for yourself, isn't it, this particular draw? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, I know I've played against them a few times for, for Plymouth in the pre-season friendlies and stuff. And they're, 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 they're decent. They're, they have decent players. They're a decent side. It's, and uh, obviously them being at home, they're going to have a, a probably a half-decent crowd behind them. Yeah. And it, it's probably going to have a real cup feel about it, but yeah, it's obviously it's going to be it's going to be a tough game to obviously we're away from home, but we'd like to think that we've got a good chance of obviously progressing through. So now obviously playing against them, I know I don't know I don't know obviously know any players or stuff like that, but I kind of know that they're they're not a bad outfit and it's not going to be an easy test. And now we move on to Chesterfield. You mentioned those league games that we've got coming up that are going to be difficult. We've got a good uh, away following. Uh, to Chesterfield this weekend, a number of uh, tickets sold. So, you know, those are the sort of games where we played in that sort of setup, former league side, where maybe the games you relish as a player, but I guess the focus is on those three points. Yeah, hundred percent. You can't. You've got to play the game, not the occasion, as they say. And our, our focus will be going there and putting a performance to try and get the three points. And obviously, you don't know how the outcome of the game is going to come, but we'll, we'll we'll go there fully focused and fully ready to to try and get obviously the win that we want. But yeah, it's, we're going to have obviously a few a few fans behind us, and the, the fans have been brilliant both home and away. And it's like they're the twelfth man at the end of the day, and it gives it gives the lads a big boost and gives you on the pitch a big boost knowing that they're behind you. So yeah, it's it's going to be a tough game. Obviously, they obviously come down last year, so they've got obviously league experience and and stuff. But it, it's not going to be easy. Any any game away from home is never easy. But we'll go there full of confidence. Nice stadium, nice ground. Wrexham fans behind us, what's not to love? Cheers Luke.